here today in Wigan campaigning for free public transport. We're doing a tour of Greater Manchester. We started uh, early last year. We've already been to places like Rochdale and Oldham and Stockport and Sale and Eccles and Central Manchester, Bolton and Bury. Today it's Wigan's turn to hear our case why we can address such issues as climate change, CO2 emissions and growing unemployment and falling living standards with a single policy, namely the policy of free and better public transport. Now people said to me, how are you going to afford that? Well as I keep saying, how can we not afford it? Sir Nicholas Stern, who is a former economist with the IMF and the World Bank, has said in his famous report, Stern Report, that unless we start addressing the issue of CO2 emissions and climate change, that it's going to cost us ten times more in ten years' time. Well, when you think about that, somebody said to you, if you don't fix your roof in ten years' time, it's going to cost you ten times more money. We know how most people will answer this. Say, Here's the money now, let's fix my roof now. But no, what we seem to be doing now in this country and elsewhere is just say, no, we'll pay the money in ten years' time and doing nothing. The failure of the Copenhagen uh, Climate Summit within uh, uh, less than a month ago has shown us that they can't come to a deal. But we don't need to wait for another climate summit to start addressing these issues. We can do it now, in our own countries and in our localities across places like Greater Manchester. Now what will our policy do uh, and how will it affect people in this area? Well, one of the things a recent uh, poll of people showed was that the only thing that could possibly get them out of the cars is access to free and better public transport. And as far as we're concerned, there is the answer to the problem. If we can provide a, a free and better, more integrated system so that people can get round from A to B efficiently, as efficiently as they can do now, then we will get people, be able to get people out of the cars and on to buses, trams and trains, which will free up uh, our roads and uh, vehicles that need to use them, such as delivery uh, vehicles and so on. We'll also make, uh, likely reduce the amount of road deaths, traffic accidents and general air pollution that we're having to experience. Obviously it's vital that it's an integrated system uh, and that you can uh, quickly uh, move from one form of transport to another, whether that's from foot to cycle or cycle to bus to tram to train and so on. As one of the speakers has already referred to, there's various ways we can help finance this. Tobin tax, for example, as has been mentioned, this is a tax on financial transactions of the city speculators, uh, would raise up to £40 billion per year. Now when you think about uh, how much it's been suggested a free uh, bus service would cost for everybody, that's in the region of £3 billion. So, more than sufficient money can be raised just from what that one tax on the city of London and the speculators are operating there uh, to pay for this. Obviously, uh, it's not going to come overnight. People say, well, you know, are we, are we going to get it? We'll never get it, in fact. Well, actually, people also said, you'd never get a black guy in the White House. We've got that. They said women wouldn't get the right to vote. They've got that. They said we could never have a free health service. Well, we've got that now in the shape of the NHS. And we can have this too if people stick together, fight for it, and bring it into law. It's not, it's, uh, not exactly a, an outrageous idea. In fact, as far as we're concerned, it's an idea whose time has come in the same way as the calls for a free health uh, service in this country were in the 1930s and 40s. We can achieve it if we campaign together. One thing's for certain, if we do nothing, we'll get nothing. We can gripe and moan on about the world's rules, but we'll get absolutely nothing until we fight for it. That's something that's been shown in history, and we obviously need to learn from that. We're here today handing out leaflets, which contain our entire case, and we're also asking people to sign our petition. All the parties who are standing in the election are all talking about savage cuts or vicious cuts, and that's what's going to be cut likely we're going to see in May, whoever gets elected. And actually, at that point, even the free, the free pensioners 
Mention his bus pass will be under attack. Make no balls about it. The free pensioner's bus pass is under attack. We're saying not only should it not be under attack, it should be extended to young people immediately and to the unemployed so they can get round free of charge as well. And we think that should be extended to everyone in due course so that we can all get round free of charge using a fully integrated public transport system. What we are proposing will create thousands of new jobs at a time when unemployment and living standards are falling in the Wigan area. I don't know how much the unemployment is in Wigan, but in Atherton and Leo who I am, it's getting into the thousands. And the job centre yesterday, there were less than 14 jobs for all the people living in Lee and Tilsley area. And this policy will create thousands of new jobs for bus drivers, train drivers, train guards, for people building the buses and trams that we're going to need. And it will also create jobs for the people to build and maintain the public transport infrastructure that we're wanting to see. Now, obviously this is not going to happen through private companies taking any form of initiative, such as first bus and stagecoach. What we need to do if we're going to bring this about is we need to take all of public transport back into public ownership and run it on behalf of the people. These companies are already milking us for millions of pounds in subsidies for trans various routes. We say let's use that money along with other uh, resources to finance what we're proposing. The government can find the money by billions in fact at the drop of the hat to build, bail out the banks last year, can find the money to wage war overseas in places like Afghanistan, can find the money to pay the ridiculous expenses some of our MPs have been claiming. We say the money's there, let's put it to social use, such as we're currently doing with the pensioners' free bus pass. The best thing of all, of course, and this is what will impact on everything, what we're doing will put hundreds if not thousands of pounds of money back into ordinary people's pockets. Instead of having to pay for the kids to go to school in the morning and to get around, some people may be spending up to £30 a week just to get to work and back. Imagine what our policy would do for those people. It would put thousands of pounds annually back into their pockets. If you should sign our petition, we've got leaflets, you should take those. We've got to give you our case. We've got a website here which is down here, freepublictransport.org.uk. You go to that, we've got a Facebook group as well with over 1,200 people on it currently. We're also going national, we originally started as a just a Greater Manchester campaign, but we're holding a conference in March in uh, Birmingham where we're hoping to have a number of MPs supporting us and we're going to be promoting this nationally. It's an international movement, it's not just one that's going on in this country. As it's already been said by the last speaker, this is a living reality of a policy in places like Hasselt in, in Belgium and in the city of Zagreb in Croatia. If places like that can have it, why can't we have it in Wigan and across Greater Manchester and across Britain as a whole? We can get it if we stand up and fight for it. We don't need to wait for another world summit to start to tackle it the problems of climate change. We can do it now with policies like this. So take one of our leaflets, sign our petition and support our fight, the growing fight across the country for free and better public transport. Thank you.